it's a wonderful day for a picnic. Jeffrey, Amy and their parents are on their way to the lake when suddenly... What is the mechanic putting into the tire? Air. Now, everything is all right again. What a surprise. That explosion was caused by air, the same substance that is inside this balloon, something which you cannot even see. But you can see it blowing the branches of trees or turning this windmill. This helicopter could not fly if there were no air round it. Now, Jeffrey and Amy have arrived at the picnic spot. They walk down to the water, and there they see sailing boats. Pushed along by air. The same air is holding up this kite. Amy's beach ball does not have enough air in it. Jeffrey blows some air into it from his lungs. He can feel the air pushing against the ball. Hello, here's a bottle in the water. Why does it float? When the bottle is tilted, bubbles come out and it sinks. If the bottle is not filled with water all the way, Will it float? Yes, it will. Why doesn't the water fill the bottle? There must be air in the bottle. Let the air out and water can get in. Then air takes up space, just like water does. Air is real. Jeffrey's father is fanning the fire. He says that this is to give more air to the fire, that fires need air to burn. Suppose that we were to take all the air away from the fire instead. What do you think would happen? Something very curious is happening here. Has the horse come to life? Why should it blow up like this? It feels very warm from the heat of the car engine. Now what's happening? It's going down again. Let us put it back on top of the warm car bonnet. Perhaps warming the horse does it. Something may be happening to the air inside it. To find out, Jeffrey's father does an experiment. He fastens a balloon over an empty can and places it over a fire. The balloon swells. This must be because the air pushes it out when it becomes hotter. When air becomes hot, it becomes bigger, it expands. This is what happened to the plastic horse when it grew bigger. If heating the air in the can made it expand, will cooling make it shrink? Yes. When air cools, it contracts. Have you wondered why smoke rises? 
there is a current of hot air rising from the fire and taking it up. Cold air falls downwards. The fire is not smoking now, but is hot air still rising? Let us find out with this paper windmill. See how the rising hot air turns it? But it does not do it here, because the air is cooler and is not rising. Pressing on the sides of this tube forces the ketchup out. Here, air is forced out of an accordion. And air forced through a plastic tube makes the frog jump. Air is important in many other ways. Why do aeroplanes need air to fly? Sound travels through air. Suppose there were no air, would you hear anything? You must breathe air to stay alive. Find out how often you breathe in a minute. Fish need air too. Where do you think they find it? But now it's time to go home. Jeffrey's father made the fire burn by fanning it. Why does he put sand on it now? Think what Jeffrey has found out today. Air takes up space. When it is heated, it pushes out in all directions. It expands, but air can shrink too. When it becomes cold, it contracts. Warm air goes up and cold air comes down. And if we did not breathe air all the time, we could not live. You cannot see air. You cannot smell air. You cannot taste air. But it is very important. Look around you and find out all you can about what air is doing and how it is used.